Freaks back with another Megazord review, and today we're going to be looking at the Dino Storm Megazord. And here, Dino Storm Megazord is formed of five Zords. We have the red Ceratosaurus, the blue Mesiosaurus, we have the green Pterodactyl, the yellow Parasaurolophus, and the white Brachio. So these are the five Zords. There are also two other Zords that are made, and they're its own Megazord. It's the orange T-Rex and the... I would say maybe light blue, I call it silver, but the silver stego. But those that's another Zord, and that's for another review, so check that out after this one. But anyway, besides that, here's the Zord, and right here is a really, really nice set. We get five great looking Zords, and I gotta say, this is probably my best Dino Zord ever. And for those who's been following for a while, you guys know that my Dino Mega Zord is pretty cool. And this one is a little different. So let's just get into the review and move these guys to the side really quickly. Just for a sec, let's move these guys. And we're going to take a look at Reds, which is the Ceratosaurus. And it's 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 a pretty big dino, I got to say. It's really nice. Um, He came out looking like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers dinosaur. But of course, he's a mixture of a few things, that. And he's also a mixture of the Q-Rex and the Dino Thunder Red Rangers T-Rex sword. But um, here he is, he, he just looks freaking awesome. He, got, he has these pulsable cannons here on Ratchet. They can move in different directions and stuff. His arms are pulsable and whatnot, and his claws, even his mouth, it's all the way up, it can open up all the way. This is an attack that's actually like, supposed to be like guns, missiles or something. Um, use your imagination, kids. His legs are all on these really good joints. He has a good neck system there. His tail is very articulated because it's on ratchet. It can rotate there. All uh, right. Here's another point of articulation. And it can also bend there. And if I could get it, but all these points of articulation are all on ratchet. And it's just satisfying to do it every time. But... Besides that, we also have the, uh, if I can get it to spin correctly, uh, I don't know, it kind of rotates, but it's the drill tail. You guys get the picture. Um, he can sort of do a little funny attack. It just, it's going to look funny, but it's just, you know, zzz, drill. Okay. But um, here he is, guys, the red Ceratosaurus in his cool epicness, his dynamic pose. Um. I don't know if that looks cool or not. But um, here he is, guys. Yeah. This is red. And we're just going to move on to blue. And for blue is the mesiosaurus. And mesiosaurus, or the mesiosaur, however you say it, is what blue is. It's that big thing that was on Jurassic World. But, you know, this is the downscaled version for the Megazord. So, um, yeah, here's blue's. Pretty neat. You got a lot of articulation here. You got the mouth, it fully opens up and it can slam shut. You got articulation in the flippers there and back here. His tail does, it's not really supposed to move, but it can move. But here, here's a cool gimmick. They all have gimmicks, guys. Yay. You've seen reds. He has the drill tail, the claws, the cannons. Now, blues, you're going to wonder what it is. And what his is, his gun can point forward which is his tail and it's now like a gun it reveals the fist which is right there yes it's an arm let's just knock that out the way this and the parasol fist is the arm but um yeah that's a gun gimmick that he can do so he can just fly towards you and just chomp and he just choo -choo 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 -choo. i was actually going to draw a box but gosh i can't do that anymore it takes so much time i draw manga for a living can't do that so anyway here is yellow, since it's the same thing. Well, I was going to go to green, but I ruined the order. But here's yellow. Really cool, though. I really do dig yellow's design. It's totally different. And, you know, when I built this, I kind of told myself, how can I separate this set amongst the rest? Because I built other dinosaur sets, and, you know, I just, I don't know. I felt like it needed a new formula of a five combiner. And people have been asking, so why not give it to them? So, there we go. Here is the articulation there. You got it here. 
the head it kind of bends but that's really for a transformation her tail kind of moves but it's not supposed to because it's for transformation but it does also have that attack thing with the guns that can point forward which is cool it reveals the fist but who cares all right so here is green and for green super simple and sweet we got this beautiful beautiful bird and it's just you got articulation in the wings there it flip flaps Whoa. And then it also has this thing here, which is a gun. It's like, uh, how did I position it? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, oh, like that. And then when you bring it down, that's like, pew, 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 you know. And this is like a little hook. But, you know, it's supposed to, I don't know, how did I just do it? I forgot. I think it's like this, guys, but forgive me if I forget. But this is green pterodactyl. So, besides Pterodactyl, here is the big female herself, the Brachiosaurus. And she is humongous. Turn on some more light. Okay, I should have done that from the start. But, here is the Brachio. And, my gosh, isn't she huge? Just look at that head. I mean, it's not super detailed, but it's there, guys. You see it. Articulation is there. It's You see it. You come down here. Got all this beautiful articulation and the Zord all around. It's gimmick. Oh gosh, the legs are kind of a little hard to control because they're ball joint and they're like ratchet. It's kind of weird. But you know, aren't all ratchet things hard to control? Women included. But um, anyway, besides that, you can close these up and boom. These are also cannons and they're not cannons. But they do serve a purpose. So besides, so just like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, we're going to start this off with the red one. And to do it, we're going to take off his Gatling guns. And they're going to reveal the connector ports. Now once we do that, we're going to then straighten out his legs and just fold those up. Bring that down. Open that. And once you fold these up, it then reveals the connector port. You can just fold that down. And it simply works like that. You're going to straighten out the tail. And the cool thing is this gets a, the Zord has a tail, so it gets a Zord tail. So you plug on the guns right there onto these little pieces here. And once you plug these things on, where am I? Ah, oh, snap. I unplug the hook. But once you do that right there, boom, you have the Megazord tail. And then you get the head here. Bring it all the way back, and the jaw also. Just like sort of line it up, like just like that, and then you get this, and you close this in, and sort of just bring those like that into where the jaw is. So these claws will lock sort of into the jaw and hold his head in place by doing that. So you do the same thing on this side, and it really just forms a firmer grip on the head, it keeps it from flipping around. So here is the upper torso of the Zord. Voila, isn't that beautiful? Look at that reflection. Anyway, besides my sound effects, let's go to the arms and we're gonna start off with blue. And for you can see the tail, but um, here's blue. And the way you start off blue is pretty simple. We're just gonna Come down here, open this up and flip it around. Plug that into place and then get this and rotate it all the way around like that. Make sure it's facing that way. And then you open up the jaw there and then you come to this whole tail piece. Bring it all the way up and then you open up the jaw and that reveals the arm. The arm, it looks funny now, but when the Zord is together, it looks pretty nice. But um, here is the first arm. Oh yeah, and you also wanna close these up. Let me just close those up. And now you have your arm. I'm just gonna set that there. And here we also have the yellow. And for this arm, it's kind of the same deal, but a little different. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna flip these around and then boom, 
Then we just close these up. Bring the head all the way down and make sure you close that. Get this can in here. Bring it up. Fist. Here's your other arm. So here are the arms of the Zord. Next, we're going to come to the green pterodactyl. And this is very interesting because first, we're going to unplug this here. Then this piece, we're going to just leave it like that. And if you hear something in the background, um, family's watching a movie. I'm sorry, guys. It's pretty loud. But here we go. It's in pink. And pink will then form the legs. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire section off this head. If I can get it with the brick. Sometimes it doesn't want to come off all the way. Like, you see that? That's what I'm talking about. But this right here, you get the picture though. If it comes apart, pff, oh well. <laughs> oh well. But anyway, here we go. You take that off there and we're going to pull off this beautiful tail. Ugh. There you go. And we're going to leave those to the side. And this here becomes our nice legs. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to fold these up beautifully. I'm just kidding. We're just going to fold those up beautifully right there. And then we're going to fold these up. No, actually, that is completely wrong. That was hideous. Okay, we're first going to fold up the thighs. And then when we fold up these thighs, they should be able to come around and tuck behind this black piece there like that, forming a sort of uniform look. Then you follow up with this side on the back end. Boom, and then you split, and then you open these up a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, and there are your legs. <laughs> now, form gatai, or swords combined. Okay, so we're going to start off with the legs, plugging that in, boom, and now he's standing pretty tall, and excuse me while I make the camera okay, talk. Okay, so here is the Zord upper body. Now next we're going to come to green, and he's going to swoop in, and this piece folds out and it just goes right where that is. Boom. Plug that in, put these to the side, lift your camera, show them what they're missing. And this is the upper chest plate of the Zord. It's sort of like a wing plate, yes. So there's that. Next, we're going to, let me just bring it here. Bring the camera in just a little more. Sorry if you see the outskirts of my radio station, oh well. So, um, yeah, just I gotta get the right angle. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are gonna see how I just do this edit raw. I'm not even gonna take this out. So, okay, now I just rattled my complete camera and gave you guys utter nonsense for I don't know how long. Let's just get on with the review. So, without me being a perfectionist, we're just going to throw blue right onto the side here, and then yellow comes in and goes right onto the side there. There are your arms. And you see blue is completely huge compared to yellow, but I don't care. I love it for what it is. This is how I build. Okay, so that piece that we left to the side that was on green, you just, I think it's already done. Oh, yeah, that's actually the Zord head. So we're just going to bring it in. Bam. He looks up a little bit, but I don't care. It's still nice. Now we can give him a good weapon. He can have a spear or a sword. We're going to give him the spear this time. I never give him the spear. So just plug it in. Boom. Then you get this beautiful, beautiful tail. Right here. This beautiful tail. And you just plug it simply into the Zord's hand. Voila! Now the Zord holds a shield and a spear. Sword. 
I don't know why I'm doing that. The Zord almost completely destroyed itself. Wow. What a great way to ruin the review. <laughs> Dang, Power Bricks, you you good at that for sure. You good at ruining reviews. Uh, okay, anyway. So besides that, here is the Dino Storm Megazord. Fully merged up, guys. Um, what can I say? It came out pretty good. Uh, he's very heavy, I will say that. But trust me, this sword is nothing compared to the next one. You guys have no clue for what you're about to see. It is beyond belief. Um, you guys are going to probably figure out how the hell did he do that. And I'm pretty sure I, f I thought that same thing. And I'm not sounding egotistic. I'm giving you a heads up. So look, there it is. Dino Storm Megazord. Full originality. You guys know what it is. Power Brick style. You guys know how I do. I always come through for you guys. I'll make you wait, but if you wait, it's for something beautiful. Now, articulation. Ratchet. Uh, it kind of droops down. I actually was going to change that joint to one that was sturdy, but then it would have limited the cannon's articulation. So, work with me, guys. Work with me. But, um, you get articulation there and there. And also, if I can keep it from falling... His leg also has articulation, if you can see that, but his leg can kind of kick, but not really because it's extremely heavy and he's just made to stay there and just he's made for review only. So, you know, collector's edition, give him a sword and wow, you see what I'm talking about? Sword and spear, but you get the picture. This is Dino Storm Megazord, guys. Um, <laughs> wow. Five out of ten for sturdiness, but uh, I guess I give him a nine out of ten for the look. I'm moving in a better frame and angle. This is Dino Storm Megazord, guys. Get a closer look at its face. Wow, this video came out terrible. But it's okay. I love it, and I love you guys. And this is Power Bricks signing off.